now we will see how the surge cycle develops so this is the compressor and this is the discharge pressure of the compressor and this is the piping system where our losses are the losses in the piping system and this is the pressure of the vessel or header pressure we can call it a header pressure but there are multiple compressor planes installed here this is the prime mover of the compressor so pd is the compressor discharge pressure pb is the vessel pressure and r losses resistance losses over time now suppose the pressure starts build up resistance goes up compressor writes the curve pd is equal to pb plus r losses so here when the uh, pressure would the uh, resistance would starts increasing the pressure reaches at the point a where it again goes to the point b flow is reversed please note that the flow is reversed here its direction is reversed we know that for forward flow pd should be greater than p so at surge point pv becomes greater than pd that's why the reverse flow occurs but this is a momentary condition result of the flow reversal is that pressure goes down pressure goes down less negative flow operating point goes to the point c but, uh, in surge cycle we see that the pressure the flow starts uh, flow uh, flows uh, the flow of the gas is between positive and negative that it it starts oscillating so here the point goes to the point p and then it again goes to the point c and then it again reverse stabilizes it goes to the point d so at point d when it reaches the point d it again goes to the point p so this is a typical surge cycle which is faced by the compressor and this is mainly due to the build up of the high pressure at the header side so compressor flow starts oscillating between these values we will see further in the graph for more elaboration here are the uh, typical timings from point a to b it is 20 to 50 millisecond drop into the surge and from point c to d it is 20 to 120 millisecond jump out of the surge so a b c d a 0.3 to 3 seconds so this is a surge cycle uh, time period we can say so here we see that the flow rapid flow oscillations in surge condition there are rapid flow oscillations thrust reversals and potential damage to the uh, metallurgy of the compressor and this is the pressure here the flow is greater and pressure is greater but when the uh, pressure reduces the flow reverses and then again the pressure normalizes and then it oscillates so really this is an oscillatory system as a result the temperature of the machine increases so this since this is a very fast phenomenon uh, it can be neglected by the operator so there must be a control system dedicated control system Uh, installed at the compressor, which can detect the surge, and which should be such uh, intelligent that and it, it should detect whether the surge is coming or not, and it should take prior actions to operate the compressor in the stable zone of operation. Now, we will see how the 